As we're going through military exercises at the moment uh, um, and war games, I don't think we should be remotely surprised that uh, there are uh, that there's a lot of talk about a future war with Russia within five to twenty years, uh, or indeed even talk about conscription by General Sir Patrick Sanders, who said that the UK needed a military that could only expand rapidly, that could not only expand rapidly, but also train and equip a citizen army. And um, Downing Street apparently is going to stamp on that one, uh, the idea of future conscription. And I think all, all we have to do is put this in the context of the war games which are ongoing. And I'm, I'm not a great fan of war games anyway. I think they're a bit of a waste of money and time. Uh, and um, and we, we saw what happened with the war games conducted by Russia uh, on, the, on the border of Ukraine. They turned into an invasion. They're, they're dangerous things. And I don't think we should be playing the same game. Um, uh, anyway, the general said uh, within the next three years it must be credible to talk of a British army of 120,000 uh, folding in our reserve and strategic reserve, but that's not enough. Uh, moving from a post-war to a pre-war world, um, he said that um, uh, we, should, um, we, we, we should be spending more on the military. And he's backed up by... Grant Shapps. Grant Shapps is the fellow who looked as if he was adjusting his false teeth while sitting next to the Prime Minister uh, during the statement uh, on Tuesday, I think, uh, rather than the uh, Prime Minister's questions, which were a bit lacklustre yesterday, frankly. However you, um, however, you, however you judge it, it was a bit of a, it was a bit of a bore. Um, and... Uh, uh, I, I think in addition to the issues of conscription, I think the army needs to look at its, um, at its own recruitment crisis, which has been uh, quite extraordinary. And, and if, you, if you look at the, um, at the number of people who are joining the army, um, going from uh, 100,000 uh, 20 years ago to a... Uh, to a force which is barely 70,000 strong. Uh, that, I think, is, that I think is worrying when there is such um, aggression from Russia and uh, elsewhere, but um, far be it from me to make references to um, uh, Mr. Kavanagh's piano playing hijinks in St Pancras Station on Elton John's piano and uh, there's a um, uh, there's, 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 there's a lot that needs to be debated whether this ends up in um, conscription as the general has suggested and as James Epe for example and another uh, the, the armed forces minister has indicated or whether this gets shot down by a statement from number 10 today. Um, let's wait and see.